Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I have uh, just a quick critique for Honor Guard members for this uh, funeral that happened a little while ago. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, everyone involved with uh, Fire Lieutenant uh, Sean Williamson. That's, it's a shame. It really is uh, quite tragic when uh, line of duty death happens. It's so, as we can see here, just tons of rain. And I don't know why the individual right here, uh, right here is uh, rendering a hand salute. And so, uh, let me, just let me see really quickly, for those of you who are noticing that his salute isn't exactly perfect, he... He, he's, you know, the fingers are not exactly, so individual differences happen. Uh, and in the U.S. military, we have to meet certain standards and, and we do that. That's understood. But uh, uh, in the uh, the civil service world, uh, first responders, there's, there's slight differences that can happen and it, that's acceptable. So what I see here with the uh, with the flags, let me just go a little bit uh, there with the flags. Here we have color guards and uh, we've got fire axes that are being completely pushed away uh, at present. So it it doesn't look good. Okay, here we have uh, uh, this uh, the le these two guards here for the for the middle color guard, really good, really good technique. This is this is poor technique. It just it looks very awkward, and even the uh, the longer pike pole here looks quite awkward. Now, what I don't get is why the the I, there's several color guards here there's a couple in the background and and i get it this is probably um uh the the department or even maybe the the battalion color guard so uh, i'm not exactly sure i don't even know the state where this is but uh uh so why is the color it so we'll call this the color guard proper because it has the American flag. And then most, it's quite possible that, that these colors guards right here that don't have an American flag. These are, if, if you would think to uh, the description in the military manuals of a masked color guard, where there's uh, the color guard propers in the front has the uh, how many ever colors there are, but it has the two guards and then it has the American flag bearer. And then behind that, in the second rank, is an, another set of, of colors that are different. And for the military, those are organizational colors that belong to the, the organizational flag that is carried in the front color guard there. And then it you know, can have subsequent uh, ranks after that, second, third, fourth, even fifth. You know, It can go on for however. Um, the Marine Corps order really does a great job at detailing the uh the order and and how everybody is supposed to align and it it works really well anyway so let's say that this is a a masked color guard it is all one color guard why is the color guard proper on the left when honestly it should be on the right of all the other colors and i don't know what the other colors are it looks like there's actually uh, uh the maryland flag there I, and again i'm i'm not a flag expert but this looks like the it might be the Mer the uh the, the maryland state flag so why is and it the, this this whole ceremony gives me more qu gives me more questions than I can answer. So it looks like he was the signal man for uh, for the, the the apparatus to stop and then they uh, uh, the two here bring out the step. And 
honestly, the uh, and we have a funeral director with the the beer, and so the funeral director. See, hardly anything was planned here. It, it, there's a lot of questions, a lot of communicating going on, and I do not mean this. I mean this all with love, absolute love. This is this is so unprofessional. It it it, it just doesn't. It, none of this lends itself to actually everybody knowing what they're doing. None of it. So there's. Uh, so the. Uh, the casket was transported on the apparatus. This is this is uh, for those of you who don't know. This is uh, let me pause right here. This right here is called the hose bed. There are different fire trucks that are they they're called apparatuses. Apparati? No, apparatuses. So different different uh, uh, fire trucks that have different height hose beds, and uh, and usually they're used as a caisson in the in a line of duty death and uh, you know the case on like in Arlington National Cemetery uh, so the 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 casket then is laid on the hose bed and then brought off at a, a certain time and here now we see pallbearers they're coming up and they're getting their gloves on this, so you tell me how this looks And and the, unfortunately, just pouring rain. So the family is is probably underneath this shelter right here. Mm -hmm. And then I, it, it's quite possible that this is the funeral home uh, that's uh, right there in the background across the street. So maybe there's more family here. So what was this? What was that thrown to the side? Why was that thrown to the side? Who who is it that's coming here? Who is it that's that's viewing all of this? This is all a, a, a very ceremonial occasion, or it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be common. It's not supposed to be usual. And Chief, what are you doing with an unbutton? You're getting dressed? Coming up to the ceremony? It's disappointing, honestly. I appreciate the uh, the video though. And then uh, this gentleman here also getting dressed. At least you got a marine here. That's that's good. And he's explaining what's supposed to happen and when. That's enough, Scout. It's okay. This look, it, this is really not. Uh, attention to detail was was non-existent. Skip ahead here a little bit. Now here looks like here comes the family. So, at least the family wasn't here to witness all of this. Now they're here. So they they pulled up in the procession, and and I, I'm I'm glad that uh, they weren't witnessing all of this. But still, the video is on uh, on YouTube for everyone to see. And then the ring picks up. At some point, uh, at some point, you have to get those two pictures out and the phone piece on the truck.
So the casket's in motion, most likely coming off, but I want to show you something in just a moment here. Look. <clears throat> so you're using a step for the... Uh, uh, for the end of the apparatus when really you should be using a casket, uh, 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 not a casket deck, but a, uh, a pallbearer deck. The pallbearers should be elevated enough so that they can take the casket off. It The casket needs to remain horizontal. This, this isn't acceptable. It It really isn't. This is not how we treat a body. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I was talking about the, Mar the Maryland flag, so it, it looks like the Maryland flag is behind in another color guard. So then all of these, uh, the, the other two color guards look like they are organizational, I'll, I'll put it that way, organizational flags. So it just, it still begs the question of why is the, the, the color guard proper on the left of all of these other uh, organizational color guards. And here, the, the pallbearers really don't know what they're doing. I don't know who this gentleman is over here. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to really understand his role. Um, and then marking time it, they uh, see there's there's techniques if if you want uh, I'll send you uh, I'll, I'll send you a private video I'll, I'll I'll show you how to use these techniques to to carry a casket to to face to the center to face to the front um, So for those of you who, who, who understand the way a casket travels, it travels feet first all the time. There's a couple of different uh, times that it doesn't travel feet first. Uh, but the, uh, uh, here the casket was traveling head first. Well, that's because the, the, the distance that it was traveling was not only straight, but it was extremely short. <clears throat> And it would have looked silly to turn the casket around and then <clears throat> move up, turn it around again. So this is fine. They did a, a, a great job of moving the casket to the beer and then setting it down. And, and I know firefighters are not known for their marching. I get that. They're firefighters. They're not known for their facing movements either. I understand that. Now these two coming up never should have been there <clears throat> excuse me I, I i watched up to this point here earlier moving the casket wasn't necessary your the pallbearer set it down it never should have been moved after that they said it it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be centered it the pallbearer's can't see exactly what they're doing but the the uh the commander of the pallbearers can understand the the distancing a, as they approach and they approached a little bit in a less than desirable manner but still uh they did a fine job in setting the casket down and these two never this also this individual all of them never should have been there to 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 adjust the casket it never needed adjusting taking the the casket band off now there are a couple of different casket bands this is a one of those rubber tube like things the casket band keeps the flag on the casket when it's out in the open like when it's traveling on the hose bed of an apparatus <clears throat> that uh, uh taking off the the casket band and then also the the plastic cover uh, was probably a, a bit too early unless uh, it's going to be folded right away. And 
that wasn't necessary. None of this is necessary. What what really you should have done is dressed, gone around the casket and dressed the flag. If you really wanted to do something that that is proper, after you gave the 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 casket, your end of the casket band and the plastic cover to the other firefighter, then you should have dressed the flag on this side at least the one that's facing the family, over the handles here. It looks like uh, uh, the, the handles might be permanent. They, they might be the, the ones that stick out and they're, you, you can't push them in. Although if they are the ones that push them in, actually the pallbearers all should have taken care of that. Push the handles in, dress the flag. They didn't do that. It, nobody was trained. Or they received minimum training. And... and which is a, a big problem. The the only time that 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 so many uh, uh, so many firefighters and even police officers, any time they, they receive training, is oh boy, you know uh, somebody was killed in the line of duty. And the Marines here, I, I'm I'm glad that they're here. A little bit ceremonial here. And actually, you guys don't even know how to pick up a flag. You you come into the center and then go out to the corners. The center's right there. You don't have to fiddle with this corner and then fiddle with that corner. You come into the center. You, you, you're you bent over. Come into the center. Thumbs up. Go out to the corners. Look at your corners as you're doing it. And then come up, you signal, then both of you signal each other, and then you come up. And see, that's, you can avoid all that. Pallbearers, you should have pushed the handles in. You should have dressed the flag, at least. What's that? Why are you doing that? That's not a technique. That's not anything to do with folding the flag you are here to fold the flag and that's it fire All right, it's a firing party not a rifle team <clears throat> better good a couple of rumors it sounds like Now they, the for this ceremony they just rang the bell. Usually there, there's a, a a little more to the the firefighters' bell ceremony. It's really quite nice. I I'm very impressed with it. So you're you're you got the flag tilt going on that the military doesn't do. We pop open to horizontal. Unless there isn't enough room to pop open to horizontal, then you pop open to an angle and then you bring it together and start folding. You, you could have waited all of this time. You didn't have to have the flag off the casket, but you did, and that's good. But you should have been holding it then over the casket horizontally, not in front of the casket at an angle, over the casket horizontally. You make your first two horizontal or length lengthwise folds then you step to the side toward the family and then you start the triangle folds not a lot of awareness there on when to salute So, uh, the TAPS bugle, a TAPS bugler, Yari Villanueva, has already done a, a, a slight breakdown of, of TAPS. Uh, <clears throat> so, there we go. So, Marines, this is a bad, fat, bad flag fold. 
why are you reaching in and then pulling back? What is that? And also, sergeant here, the staff sergeant at the, the uh, head and then uh, sergeant at the foot. What are you doing by popping the flag down like that? You do that several times. And if you notice, it sends shockwaves through the flag. Stop doing that, please. You've got a huge dip in the flag. You're supposed to keep it tight. And start, again, you pulling it down. All right, it's soaking wet. I get it. It didn't have to be soaking wet. What you could have done is had the, the funeral home could have had another shelter set up in place and the casket could have been rolled under, put on the, uh, the, the beer if the pallbearers couldn't have fit in there, but they probably could have, and then set down on the beer it, all under shelter and it would have been fine this having this in the pouring rain the, the flag fold in the pouring rain quite possible that the colors are going to run the the after this was finished the the flag had to be unfolded and then draped over something so that it would uh <clears throat> so that it would dry and now we have this enormous dip foot you're holding the flag up practically to your shoulders and then now you're holding it up at your shoulders because you don't know how to make that that first you don't know how to place your hand down and make that uh that second fold <clears throat> and uh, thank you for using a technique that uh that i actually have i don't remember if i developed it or i learned it but now you're holding it and resting it resting the corner the the the, the at that angled corner on your shoulder so that you can make sure that the flag is smooth that's not part of the 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 flag fold is it it's soaking wet it's going to have to be unfolded anyway but you fold the flag that's it the the ending of the flag is it, the, the, those last few folds are what matter. All the other folds are supposed to be at a certain pace, at a certain uh, time. And, and you don't, if, I think if you had a, an iron, you probably would have ironed it as you were going. And now the, the Marine at the head has had to raise the, his part of the flag it really should be at waist level and you have it up on your shoulder again because you've got to take care because it was so wet <coughs> what are you what are you doing with the that's why i said if you had an iron you would have ironed it as you went that's not your job So all the firefighters here, I really applaud you for standing in the, in the pouring rain and honoring a, a, one of your fallen, one of your own, standing there for the family. Why aren't you at attention there, Sergeant? Marine at the foot who's now holding while the staff sergeant tucks. Why aren't you at attention? Why are you looking down? What could you possibly do? Nothing. You're supposed to hold the flag while the other Marine tucks. Now it's going to be a salute fest. Of course it is. So it's just fix, 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 fix. Salute and fix, salute and fix, salute and fix. Now another salute. The only time we salute is when we present the flag. That's it. Not when it's taken from us. Not when we we give it to another. When when we present the flag, that's when it's saluted. 
Not when it leaves our hands. The staff sergeant here pulled the flag away from the, uh, the sergeant. So the staff sergeant comes over to... Um, and forgive me if I get the, the rank wrong. Uh, over to the chief. And then the chief goes over. See? Presentation. Salute. That's when you salute it. Now, hopefully... Well, no, he wasn't, I don't think. Well, yeah, more or less. Okay, so... That's a, a, a nice presentation. It, it really is. I appreciate it. He stands up and salutes the flag. And then steps off. That's way too long. Way too long. Up and down. And that's it. That's all that needs to be. And then uh, the standard Amazing Grace is played. Oh, so most likely a Roman Catholic uh, service. Almighty and ever living God. In you we place our trust So that is a, a, a good way. Now, with uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, most often uh, Roman Catholic, uh, uh, the Roman Catholic priest will bring out holy water and then shake holy water over the uh, the casket. Uh, that's so pre folding the flag up and and presenting it to the family and then uh, uh, be having the priest be able to do that that facilitates everything everything's fine uh, there's a technique for uh, if you have the if you have six pallbearers there's a technique for lifting the end of the flag so that uh, the priest can facilitate that oh that's a shame That that really is a shame. So, detail. That's another thing. Uh, no, if anybody is detailed to be there, then they probably don't want to be there. Uh, that's the kind of of thought process that can go through the mind. What do you think of when you when? Uh, and I ask this with every one of my classes. What do you think of when somebody says detail? A lot of law enforcement will say, oh, extra money because I get to go downtown and I'm security for this basketball game or that football game or baseball or, you know, whatever it is. So that's a detail for them. Okay, get it. When I think of detail, it means, hey, you, you, and you, and you, I need you to grab these, the, the buckets and brooms and mops. Or I need you to go over here. We're going to do weeds and seeds, lawn police, you know, that type of thing. It's a detail that you really don't want to do, but you were chosen and you're all voluntold and you will be there. And this is what we're going to do because it's just scrubbing toilets and garbage cans and all that stuff. It's got to be done got to be done by somebody so usually it's we see it as a kind of punishment almost uh, but it's just a, a a detail that's what we call a detail there's also a flag detail and then uh, 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 but to to call out detail uh, it, it just doesn't communicate well uh, or it it can communicate badly. I'll put it that way. I'll put it that way. It can communicate badly to those who are there to... Uh, those who, who are within, uh, within earshot. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll leave it at that. Training. It everybody needs 
every department or every battalion needs several trained so that they can all come together. Uh, there are there are police departments and sheriff's offices around the country that pool their resources. Maybe they don't have, uh, oh, where was I? I was teaching, I forget exactly where it was. I was teaching in a state, and they, each of the, the local departments, it was tiny, uh, tiny little departments all over the place, but they all sent their ones and twos. Pennsylvania, that's where it was. Pennsylvania, each one of these little departments, and they were very small, but they had a, a section of, of, uh, uh, of the city anyway, uh, and they sent in their, their ones and twos and sometimes three or four, and they all got trained. And then there was a pool of people that were able to come together and work together because they had the exact same training because I, I took care of all their training. Um, it, please don't wait until it's too late. And then you have to call other people in to, uh, to, to either do the ceremony for you or train you at the last minute because it doesn't work both ways don't work in the one if somebody else is doing the ceremony for you then you you have this immense sense of of uh emptiness you're you're not there doing things that you should be doing for the family for the fallen it's it's part of your responsibility and and you feel this great sense of loss and you want to give and I understand that. And then the other case is last minute training. It never works. I don't care if it's the white glove effect. You can read about that on my website or, or you've, you've got a couple of, of even a couple of days to train. You know, unfortunately somebody is killed in the line of duty on one day. And then two days later is the funeral. Oh, great. We've got all this time. It doesn't work. You can learn only so much in a certain amount of time and develop only so much muscle memory. You'll forget because at the ceremony, all of a sudden you have adrenaline racing through you and nobody's trained. So everybody's constantly talking and with everybody constantly talking and not having any training then, or, or that minimal last minute, it doesn't matter if you stay up all night and, and work on the training. It just doesn't work. It doesn't come off to where you can do your best. I don't know what happened in this in this uh, uh, ceremony. Uh, what was whatever the case was, but team, you you could have done better in in several things. A uh, couple of protocol issues, uh, but really, it's just the training. You need training. It it, it just makes sense. Well, again, I'm, I'm very sorry for the families and, and uh, the family's loss and, and also uh, the fellow firefighters who lost one of their own. It's, it's just a, a tragedy. It, it really is. And I'm, I, know that, uh, I know that we can do better. Thanks. <laughs>